Welcome everyone to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. Uh, last episode was kind of boring right up until the end. We were just nicely making our way up coast here. We got Leinster, then we got Oriel to vassalize without a fight. But then, main man Mercad decided to die on us. I mean, 74, which, like, understandable, but kind of threw everything for a loop. Kind of came back and actually flowed down, had Athlone and Ossery in it, and I think even Dublin in it, if I remember right. So basically, these two were part of it. We ended up fighting our little brother here. It was actually our heir. So that was nice. Uh, we got this part back and then connect. Started being ruled by this fine lady that I think we're going to start off just taking it back. She's got no allies. Power of 800. I mean, what more can you really say you want? So I think we're gonna put armies up there. Declare war. I claim Petty King of Knight. I thank you, Magnus. That's actually gonna be a lot of help. Under siege. Gonna probably let. Oh, well, Magnus is just gonna come straight up and whoop their ass. That's nice. It's nice having allies you trust. Just like that. <laughs> nice easy victory. Enforce our demands. Expand the troops. And like that, with very little. Whatever. I like gold. But with that out of the way, we've gotten back to where we had kingdom with Mercad. Now we're Marvin. We are amazing with gold. Decent at diplomacy. We are not a fighter. Decent at intrigue and learning. Which actually makes me think. Why did I pick that one? If anything, I would have. Stewardship. Should have been that, but whatever. Yeah, he's not gonna accept until we can get. I thank you, Pope. Now we just need 200 more. About two hundred and four get two. Perfect little daughter. 
I'm not trying to pronounce that. Uh, good, good daughter name. It's a daughter that a Melvin would have. May you grow strong and wise, Ellie. Wait, what? As a near wife, whatever, chambers, I hear a horrifying scream, barely human, full of pain. I burst into the room, only to find my wife collapsed in a heap on the floor, covered in blood. The blathering physician is standing in the corner of the room, anxiously wringing his hands. Yeah, he's not a real physician. First thing I'm doing. Searching for one again. It's not going to happen again. And this one's quite experienced, passionate, but it's got, it's got a warrior. But it's more likely to hurt yourself than your enemies. Jesus Christ, how hard is it to find a decent position back in the year 1103? For the third night in a row, I'm sitting at the same table at the same end and has an excellent view of the bar and captivating barmaid. So I just take it. Seeing you got me. I cannot blame her, she's kind of old. I'm just here for the drinks, man. I'm here for the drinks and the oogle. I've got a wife who's not looking too hot. She's one eyed, oh my god. God damn it. I'll educate the boy. God, I just want someone to be good at fucking... Good at fucking yes. But to be good at... Green's Petty King Marvin and Monsters. My doing for me at that time. You're a few to others. Wait. Green's Petty King is the irrefutable evidence of unveiled proving that you're married with this. What? Can say genius and he sure at uh, surely this can all be forgotten or divorce her divorce divorce her lines power. Jim 
look at that. Wait, what? Club footed? Everything's normal. What would I do to her contract? Mm, I mean, I don't really declare war on him, but I'm not really in a spot to do that right now. Excellent. Honestly, right now, though, all I'm trying to do is to get up to... of my dreams and I'm also being raided that's nice uh, through my efforts to become truly feared and respected figure a vast number of guilty and disloyal persons have ended up in my dungeon many lowly cutthroats and pickpockets from the countryside and the cities await their fate apart from society apart from society but I'm perhaps I have a better idea for them my macabre Machinations I envision a force of pale low lives and traitors surrounding Lumini on all sides. Grim reminder to everyone of what happens when the petty king is betrayed. I see row after row of common criminals spreading out into the horizon. The white lands is stained in their blood. With a little work we may round up enough of these vermin to make my dream a reality. Yeah, that's some tyrant level shit, man. I can't do that shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. No! His sister was taken prisoner. But my main man died. No. He drank himself to death. I don't fucking care, brother. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Murder? What a scheme. Intrigue. Cool. Trip out to one of the villages and your holding has led me to an intriguing situation. What appears to be a vast majority of the village has turned in, out into Market Square and two motley groups of people have formed. Question to both of them visible from my position only by virtue of rather apprehensive looking villager holding it. Appears to be an inflated pig's platter, right? Perhaps noticing my quiz quizzical expression, a valet quickly explains the situation. Turns out this is some form of popular game. You know, you had me a pig's bladder. But then you inflated it. That's like a double envy of me being intrigued. Beautiful game, weighing the risks. It is with some anxiety that my trusty valet informs me of the rules and regulations of the coming event. As it happens, this 
game is so called football. It is, it is very widely played and encompasses all manner of people. Supposedly, both sides endeavor to move the ball as the pig's bladder is known to the side of village that their group is not defending by any means necessary. <laughs> the final part was in tone with sig significant gravitas. Like, so the was swift. Well, death is rare, injury is not. You know what? I'm a dumb American. So that's not the football I know. But. I'm down with soccer. Beautiful game. Eyes on the eyes. Nice. An enterprising local baker is clearly known to the gathering crowds, and his two rickety carts full of freshly baked meat pies are in high demand. Sauntering over to the cart that the opposition team are crowding around, I note the spokes of one whose wheels is practically smoldering. No sooner does the thought come to my mind than an opportunity arises to put into practice. As a sonorous crash of something falling over the far side of the square causes everyone to turn and go. One swift kick to that spoke, and Oh, what a dick move. This may help you win. I better not. Well, the pregame game nice that he's taken care of. All that remains is initiate the event. The town crier leaning dangerously out of the first floor window of a house overlooking the square bundles a pig's bladder through the frame. The crowd look up expectantly, and after a short pause, the ball takes flight. Stampede begins. Follow me, team! The beautiful game. Thatch of the head. The mob surges and crashes against the walls of a nearby house like a wave. As the group recoils from the walls, several people hang on to whatever outcroppings they can as others try and rip them away to get to the ball carrier. So is this like... This is more like rugby than anything. By the sounds of it. I thought it was going to be more soccer-esque, but, you know, rugby, rugby is like a mixture between, honestly, I don't, I don't know, the sound of splitting wood to crumpling water rings around the market square as the crowd retreats several sections of the house, the thatched roof tumbles to the ground. Okay, for Okay, for the <laughs> It's a game. I can't, like, be a dick about The horror lurches sideways, expelling me from the steps with some force. Staggering over to a wall to get both my bearings and breath, I spy a couple of traders laden with various refreshments. They must be doing good business given what hard work this is. I could do with some sustenance. As it happens, I wonder what they have for sale. Crushing water or a pint. Let's go for some water. Beautiful game found the score. As the day wears on, the ebb and flow of the game reaches its climax. Both sides surge forwards after the ball, and I'm caught in the middle of one such eddy in the flow of people. I topple and fall, protecting my head from the stamping feet, only to favor to my knees to find an unusual calm before the market square. It looks like the game's done. Good. Did we win? Beautiful game drop. Staring to my feet, I find myself still surrounded by swaths of people. The difference seems to be the urgency of everyone's movements. As players seemingly filter listlessly away from the area. With the sun hanging low in the sky, it appears as though the game is done with no decisive result achieved. To drift despondently out of the area, but the party is only just starting for the victors. A large cask of ale has already taken center stage, and the drinks are flowing freely for celebrations. That will no doubt last until the evening. Oh well, we'll get him next time. That's a fun one. I've never seen that before. Oh fuck. The house of Islam is under great threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels. Very hard. The response is magnificent. Khalif al Khati has declared that an era of renewed jihad is on the world before regions of the 
Dar al Islam must be take, retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. Saint Kanak, protect us. Disbanded. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, what? Uh, except the call to war. I'm not gonna really do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop. I joined a war. Oh, hell yeah. I don't need to kill her anymore. I don't need to kill you anymore. What a... What a sin. You really want to be a... You really want to try telling me how to do shit with those? God, you suck. I don't doubt that I could win, but I really don't want to have to fight him for it. Especially with the fact that it's, uh... Fuck you, island. Are you even raiding me anymore? Oh, it's a... Where's that? I mean... I'm not gonna help, but... You guys have fun over there. I'm still trying to save money for this fucking Ireland. What's that Baron? Who cares? Prisoners can be ransomed. Ten gold. I didn't know you're ten gold. See what goes on over here while we wait for my gold to rise up. Oh, wait, what? Why can't he no longer do the thing? Two months, four years, two years, three years, eight months. Let's go eight months, get that done real quick. Oh yeah, I don't think they're gonna win that fight. What's the strength? Hardly anything. Versus hardly anything. Great fight, that is. Uh, greetings, my sensual Levi's. Go. Time to write. That's wrong. More money, Batman. That's what we all want, don't we? A ruler in the making. There is no end to the options and wants of my daughter and her and hair. At least half the time she's trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. Formidable or aggravating. Fine line to walk. I'll see, but she's also ill. It's fine line to walk. Oh. Uh, God, you cannot govern.
Very happy. Sweet. Someone else tries the war. Now we're not gonna win. It's done with that. So let's move on to eight years. Holy fuck. Oh no, is she dead? That's not good. She was what, the second on this one? Well, that's not good. Let's get that murder scheme going. Oh, so this is kind of helps alleviate ha uh, having a low war or whatever fighting it is. She's 33 and I'm 22, so yeah. Two oldest kids are dead already. God damn. Internal injuries, that's nice. Hormones Paradox Earl Ola's summer bishop has been digging up spurious contracts of fabricated histories. No, Earl Ole. Almond? Fucking he can try to take it. I will kick his ass. Oh the My treasure, treasury is brimming with gold and silver, and all expenses are cared for. So, with the Lord, I am expected to offer patronage of some, to some kind of archer, artist or scholar. So luck would have it, three potential candidates have been added. Growing beautiful gardens, poetry. No. I like the philosophy, so I'm gonna go with that one. Just want to get up to the point. Sweet. I want to get to the point where I can. Purposely kept a little court because I want to get to the 425. 4, 425, yeah. Oh, fuck. Court physician. No one can do it too well. It's fine. I just need a little bit over 400. Thank God. I don't have to fucking do 90 again, but it's something I can deal with. But I think that's a good spot to end this. Jesus Christ, this is a long, longer episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, we're slowly making our way up to 
425. We're at basically 300 right now. Gonna create the Kingdom of Ireland. Thought I was gonna get it done in this episode, but clearly didn't. I'm running way over on time here. So I'm gonna leave it here. Got a nice thing going. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you on the next one. Bye.